Oh, yeah, incubus. <laughs> All right, let me know when you're ready to start it up. Besides the compressor run. This side right here. Compressor's right. over here. Yep. All right. Oh, what comes into even doing it? We didn't even introduce it yet. Okay. This is a late '60s, most like mid to late '60s. You say early '70s, maybe? Er, early, early '70s. Roughly. Okay, early '70s. Uh, Somewhere. Sears yeah. Cold Spot View Saver Series. So here's that Seeger startup. All right. Ah, how about fan auto? Nice. That's a lot. This is the only one I've ever seen that actually had the logo on the back. Funky looking rear lube was on that. Yeah. So it sucks air in through here and here and blows it out. The one side has a side vent on it, the other side does not. It's a 6,000 BTU model. Yep. In fact, both of, the, both of the two they've got today are 6K. Yeah. Only two people I know who have these are Josh from Josh's Recordings and uh, Christian from Weather Wheel HVAC. Yeah, so that's pretty rare. That's happy, quiet. Happy to join the group. It's pretty quiet. It's on low. And automatic is actually it's like wait, that's, is this thing shifts fan speed on itself? Yes, that and that's it has, pretty cool. And it has energy saver, which is what the is automatic. Oh, with auto, it's energy auto. saver. Yeah. So it does shift fan speeds. Oh, it blows, blows pretty cold. It did say it takes a few minutes to build head pressure on it, though. Yeah, it screens for the York. Does that sound like fan bearing motor bearings? Yep. <laughs> Can't escape that one today. The funny thing is, the inside out motor didn't have that issue. Yeah, that's the one I always that's, bash. Yeah. Oh, wow, it doesn't, it doesn't say Sears. It literally says Sears View Saver on there. Yeah. That's badass. Although they don't use the bearings as they go on, they use the motor just to fry electrical. Yeah. Now you can't flip these around. In fact, well this one, this one's the grill's a little busted, so it just kind of falls out. It's like Christian yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, I don't know. I like that better. That's just me. My buddy Ryan's, he has, an, he has a big uh, 27,000 or 24,000 BTU model up in his uh, workshop. And uh, yeah, we have it set to this side. They're not as shot as the one on that freaking York, though. The York's no. brand freaking new. Yeah, this one has, at least this one has hours on it. Oh, absolutely. But yeah, where's the uh, data plate on this guy at? There it is. Yeah. There you go. Does it say six? It looks like it says. No, the ETUs. That might. That looks like an eight. No, it's six. Cool, check this out. Comes with a freaking tent the book, but awesome. Not That's kind of like the uh, cheap wire or something. Performance chart. Oh, oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what the freaking microfarads are. Is it dope? Of course not. Why would it tell you anything useful like that? It should. But it doesn't. That's cool. That's really cool. How many watts is it? 850 watts, 2000 meters per hour. It likes electricity. Camps. But does it though? Is that, that's, what, that's, what, that's worst possible conditions. Yeah. Actually, amazing that works. I wouldn't do it. Honestly, I wouldn't mess with it. 
Yeah, she's uh, she's cool all the way up, but really cold down here. It's actually iced a little bit. But yeah, it does blow. It does blow cold. That being said, side panels are still good. Well, no, they're rotted. So oh, are they? Right. Okay, well, they're there. They're there. At least, at least they're pretty chair. We'll get your thermometer. That's all that matters. Yeah, we're ready to get it. Where are our temp gun? It's over oh, top of the little wheel. Top of the uh, Vernado. That temp's going to be blowing out of here. It's blowing cold. Good enough for me. Yeah. It's a winner. Definitely. All right. Guys, as usual, thanks for watching. Any comments, questions, let us know. Peace out. Peace out. out.